Hey, I'm Nick Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. This is episode 39. We're at Wimbledon. Uh, excited to get through this one. Quick programming note before I forget, uh, prior to the end of the episode. The series is going to take a bit of a backseat in the coming, I'd say, month or so. Uh, we've been regularly at two, two episodes per week, uh, but I've got three releases coming up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, a couple of them major ones uh, that are going to occupy a lot of time uh, also have some things going on uh, with the, the business with the daycare uh, that I'm going to be very busy actively taking care of uh, in the short term and I'm going to need those extra hours uh, I'll be trying to put out at least one episode per week uh, over this next month and then we'll see about getting back to uh, twice a week from there uh, but like I mentioned uh, an episode or two ago, we are kind of nearing the end. Infrastructure, everything's done. Uh, all we have left to do is win some slams. Be nice if we could get one here and uh, get on with that process. Uh, short term, though, Uni is the only one who really feels capable of doing that. And maybe not quite yet, just, you know, almost to that point uh, but it doesn't feel like anybody else is going to progress quickly enough which is really disappointing that uh, progression is so absurdly slow for everyone besides uni got now a three seed into the second round there ben chick all the way down to 19 uh, but she's already into the second round and there is uni's first round opponent a qualifier ranked 170 second round looks quite easy as well and our third round opponent is uh, likely Barton Kova, who is 18th. And yeah, you'd figure we should be cruising to the round of 16 in this one. And then we'll see what transpires from there. Round 6160. Uh, total control in the service department. Winners, unforced errors, just four. Beautiful play there. It was also just 80 points, but that's still just 5% of points played resulted in errors. In the bottom end of the bracket is the rest of our team. Nagunye out in the first round. Lackey up against the 11 seed out in the first round. Uh, Corey Goff out of the tournament with a forfeit. Not our player though. Uh, and Hetherington faces Radikadu who's one spot above Uni in the rankings right now. And she goes down 6-1, 6-1 in the first round as well. Uh, so it's down to just Uni. Jovic could not even get through the first qualifier to make the tournament. Uh, Jovic's days, I think, are growing quite numbered, and we might let her go sooner rather than later. In fact, what I'm thinking is as soon as we have a little more cash, uh, we may try to sign somebody, and if we do get them signed, we'll just let Jovic go and let them replace. And thinking about going towards the high end this time, like say a Radicanu. Somebody much closer to being competitive, because uh, like I said, I, I think we're kind of drawing towards the end of this series and we don't want Uni to be the only capable participant. Uh, Nagonye, Lackey, we signed them and they're not developing and they're supposed to uh, Somebody in the comments mentioned age 21 is supposed to be that cutoff for early bloomer. Yet we're seeing 19 year olds who aren't developing at all. Second round for uni, nothing like the first round. Should have been very comfortable and ended up barely getting through. Now that can be good for things to come later on as you've faced a difficult challenge and you emerge out of it on the right side. It can help. It can help. Uh, total winners, plus one. Unforced errors, minus one. Uh, service might have been important here as we had three aces to their two and no double faults to their four. Break points saved, both of them, two out of four. Break points converted, again, two out of four. I mean, that is crazy how close uh, things were in this one. Service does seem to be kind of where this game went the right direction for us. Overall, first serves, uni, 80%. 
huge advantage with nearly 20 more first serves that went in. And those first serve points, similar percentage won, but we had those, you know, 20 extra. And so that's, you know, plus 11 in terms of actual points converted on those first serve one. Uh, and then for the second ones, we definitely did better, uh, even though we had fewer. We had a, a better percentage, but so similar, so similar uh, on how this one transpired. We did not win this by much, plus four points overall. Bartonkova, 18 seed, 20th ranked player, one and two all time. She's beaten us two out of the three times that we have played. It's considered balanced, even though we're, you know, for the most part getting down to just the top 10 players uh, that are doing that. Uh, these matches have all been within the last couple of years, so they're all post-update. Yeah, and we had lost the first one in uh, Miami and Indian Wells. So these are all big tournaments, 900 level plus, 900 level or 1,000 level tournaments. Early mid rounds, but yeah, this could go either way. This is an opponent who has given us a challenge, but at round of 32, it's not yet time to, you know, get in there and play it live. So we're going to have to let this one go and see what happens. And we have fixed our record. It's now 500 all time against her. 6176. Much more comfortable this time, plus 17 on the winners. Unforced errors went up a lot, though. But 58% of points won. Uni ended up with a cramp in that match. Uh, could have been what made that second set quite a bit closer. But it's only a one day recovery, so she will be just fine. So we're into the round of 16. First notable thing is Sabalenka is out. She lost her first set, started battling back, comfortably won the second set, and then the third set went to tiebreakers. And they played for seemingly ever as she lost with 12 points in the tiebreaker. And then Kostyuk, who beat her, immediately loses the next round to another unranked opponent who was quite down, you know, just 69th in the rankings. That's going to boost both of their rankings quite a bit, but it's not going to put them anywhere near the top 25. So there's, you know, your first quarterfinalist is nowhere near the rankings. Uh, so you figure Yala or Brady is going to be heavily favored to be the first uh semi-finalists the second semi-finalist is going to come from these two pairings with osaka and Gennon, uh, offering quite the challenge but for us at least uh Fruvertova knocked out in the round of 64 the five seed opening that pathway to now Leila fernandez who's actually an easier opponent for us than uh well what we faced in the last round third semifinal slot is going to come down to these two pairings all between 21 and 27th in the rankings so not the hardest set to come out from there and then again uh, for the final pairing or final two pairings anyway for the other final slot in the semis you're looking at Fruvertova's younger sister who is now 38th in the rankings and uh, that could be somebody you could see climbing up the order a bit, especially if she gets through another round here. But then you do have a very difficult set of top 10 opponents uh, with, you know, you'd favor one of those to get that last semifinal spot. And for our semifinal slot, uh, Osaka is absolutely, you know, the big threat. We've got a chance to at least make the quarters here and see how it goes. Fernandez, 23-year-old, we've faced her a couple times and won both times. Uh, and in both occasions, it was just two sets. One was a qualifier earlier this year. I'm not sure what tournament we played uh, qualifier for. I think we were that was when we were trying to fix our form. When things were bad? Could be. And then Wimbledon. Wimbledon. A year ago uh, in the round of 32 that's the same place we're at now is it not it is I believe 
No, we're a round of 16, so we're a round later. This was a round earlier last year. We beat Fernandez for the third time running. It was close, but for the third time in a row, we do beat Fernandez 6 4 7 6. We'll start playing matches out live from this point going forward. Plus eight on the winners. Identical on the unforced errors. Serve numbers are pretty similar. Though our first serve points won. We definitely had a bit of an advantage there. Plus five points out of those. Uh, break points, three out of six we saved. And we converted four out of five of our potential break points. Our end of the bracket is looking even better than it was in the round of 16. First off, Iala loses to Brady. So we're, we're looking, you know, at a quarterfinal matchup or a semifinal potential matchup with Brady as Brady has now won in the quarterfinals. So 14th ranked player. Also, just ahead of us, Osaka has lost by a wide margin. It was 6-0, 6-1 to Kennan. Kennan's a former number one, if I remember. Uh, uh, so not easy. But she's down to 12 now, and we're at 10. I'm definitely saying there's a chance that we could see a final. I mean, we gotta, you know, we gotta knock off some difficult players, but we beat the 18, we beat the 31, we gotta beat the 12 and the 14 to get there, but hey, we're the higher ranked. Right? We should be favored to do so. Uh, meanwhile, you have your 27, 24 still ahead of us, 38 and 2, as Sviatek Via, has beat Radakanu. So uh, there's one difficult opponent eliminated. And actually, in this case, the two lower seeds are even the ones to move on. So even though we are the second highest ranked player remaining in this tournament, this is far from done deal. Woo, you're going to see the final. Uh, for one thing, Sviatek's still going to be the heavy, heavy favorite. Uh, no doubt about that one. But we've definitely got a chance to do well, get far, compete. Let's see what we can do. Kennan right now. 11th ranked player. She's only one spot behind us, even though she's the 12th seed here. Last year's Australian Open, so the first slam of the year. Round of 64, Kitten knocked us off. Our Miami Open victory this year started, well, not started, it was round of 16. Uh, one of those difficult matches along the way that we won was there. And both matches, three sets. That's one thing to keep a close eye on, and all sets pretty close. Time. First set. All right, match underway. It's a big one. Expected to go three sets. Both players in good shape. We have a slight edge. We, we came into this one at about 98%. Oh, almost squeezed that first one by her. Oh, she goes long there. Okay, we get that first point. Uh, we do have a slight advantage, but she's over 90%. Probably, you know, 92, 93, 30 love here. We are determined. She's enthusiastic. Uh, so fairly equal, you know, opportunities 30, on this one to really go either way. Uh, this match could, well, I think it easily could come down to three sets. So just winning the first set doesn't mean much. Uh, it could be kind of what momentum you have starting in the third set. And any break points are going to be massively important in a match this close. Ooh, nice there. A little surprised she was able to reach that. That close to the net. She goes clear across the court. Game. First game. You know, on, that, on that one, there's no reaction time. On the other one, she's at the net. She goes clear from one no. edge to the other edge and plays the ball. Nice. No. Oh, nice return there. Looking good to have a chance at breaking this. 15, now, see that? That was a ball we easily Four. could Second have, seconds. should have reached.
It's one of the first times I've seen Uni start to attack the net and then pull back out of it and keep play going. Oh, yeah, okay. Sure. Uni let it go because it was going out. The ball, the center of the ball was outside the line. If it touched the line, it barely, barely would have touched the line. It certainly was beyond. The center of the ball was beyond, but she got the call. And we break her anyway. Early two-game lead in this first set. Really good start. Let's see if we can maintain that momentum with a first set victory. I think to really assure that deal, you got to win this third game and not let her immediately break right back. But she's uh, she was up 30-40 on us. We've gotten to advantage. Boy, oh boy, this thing is going... Going deep. Advantage. You know, it's weird. When we sim, you don't see a whole lot of break points. But when we come in and play these games, it's it's break point after break point after break point. You know, that back and forth, that advantage. We see so much of it, but we do get that three games love here. Advantage in this first set. And that's going to be huge. That is huge. We've got to be favored to win this first set with that kind of lead. Can't break her there, though we did push her to the limit to maybe make it four. Great chance to break here. And we do. It's 5-1. First set's definitely going to be ours. And it's set point. And 40 love. Fulci, Gets Fulci. one back, but with service. No worries. And that's long, and there you go. There's the first set. Second set. Now we are self-assured. She is anxious. At this stage, I see no reason, no reason at all to believe that uh, fitness is going to play a factor in this match, as as both are still quite fresh here, uh, especially with that fairly quick first set. Love fifteen. Oh. I don't know how she reaches that ball at all. And I don't know how Uni just stands there as that ball wasn't even that hard or that much in the corner and accept the ace, but okay. We got one set and we need one more. We've got two opportunities to do it. First game break would be a fantastic way to get going, but it looks like it might not happen as we were trailing 40-15. Through the first four games, it looks like neither player is able to break. No, it's 2-2. This time, serve looks a lot more important than it did in that first set. She's already won more games than she won in that first set. And here we are, chance to break. It was 30-40, but we're a deuce of advantage, and we break her. Okay, it is on. 40 love, straight on through, not even giving up a point, and it's 4-2. 30 all. No break that time. Oh, boy. Two very lengthy points there. Now 30-15, 40-15, 40-30. And we're on the brink. It's 5-3. Just a game away. Just a game away from the semifinals. You know, the chance to break and do it here Second set. on the return. Game. And there it is. Game set match. Into the semifinals. Could it be? Is this the time? Is this the place? Semifinals 1 and 2 are set. We play against Brady. The slight favorite 10 seed versus 14 seed Pliskova 27 Sviatek 2 Sviatek's got to be the favorite for the tournament but we've definitely got a chance this is our first semifinal this is the deepest run we've had can we get one more can we get to the final we have never beaten the 31 year old Brady both previous appearances we're in slams. We only pushed it to three sets once. 
and that first time was tiebreakers in both of the first two sets before she then comfortably kicked our butts in the third. That was round of 64 quarterfinals in this year's Australian Open. Here we play in the semis. We've never beaten her before. Can we do it now? Balanced match. First set. Both are enthusiastic. Both are 100% stamina. So again, that looks like that will not be a factor today at all. And we have the same emotions as we go no. play this semifinal. I think the only thing is that Brady may have that upper hand in having won the previous two matchups against us. Battling back from Love 30. I think this first game is going to be pretty important. I think this first set's going to be pretty important if we're going to beat Brady. Second Battling sets. back, 30 all. Starting to work her. Side to side, not quite getting back to that edge. We wanted it really either of those last three hits. Oof, she plays a baseline there. Nearly, nearly plays it out. And then we play an excellent ball. Back to the other side that she then puts into the net. Again, she hits that same spot here. It's 40-30. Oh, excellent one. Long. Uh, driven ball. But with the ace there, we've got advantage. Oh, again, she's hit us with that. She's got a, a, a really powerful uh, forehand there that she's able to pull that ball across the court. A bit stronger than what we're able to do nice reach there oh that should have been a winner Advantage. that one was though and we get it back advantage yet again second, second serve right down the middle on that one puts us on the back foot oh come on that thing was second service awfully low on the net to to go over like that such a difficult ball back to deuce I feel Ouch. like we're on the back foot a lot. That was close. That was close. Call goes our way, and it's advantage. I think we might have lucked out on that one. Nice one there. Out! Boy, from here, it looked easily in. Just like that ball. So... Feel like we had our luck call, and then we almost immediately after get our unlucky call. Back at Deuce. Long rally going on here. Deviation play seems to be kind of the style we're both playing right now, as we both seem to want to work each other side to side. She has such a good forehand. That one did a, look like the right call. We, we hit it just just a hair Advantage. too long. Good winner on that one, though. Excellent backhand to pull that. Pulled it short, too. I mean, it was pushed it well wide. That was wide. And we finally claim. This is the semifinal. Where is the crowd? Where is the crowd at? Not a big crowd on hand for a semifinal at Wimbledon. Virtual. That was out. That was out. Wasn't even very close. The whole ball missed. The whole ball. There was no point any bit of that ball making contact with the line. Disappointing there. It looks like we're going to lose this game. But it should be 30 all, not 40 15. And she looks like she wants to break us here, so. It took us forever to win that first game. And then she's broken us. I think we are very much on the back foot right now in this match. Can we break her, though, to get back to level? We do. To all. This is very much two players that have very good returns. And only just about. A good enough serve to where it's turning it into every every game could go either way but trailing 5-2 we 
we are in a world of hurt. But looking like we could break here to get back to 5-3, staying alive and with service, but down 5-2. Does not look likely that we could bounce back, even if we win the two straight here. Still only make it 5-4. We'd still have to go out and do it again and again. And we have managed to at least get that far at 5-4. But here we go. It's set point. Fault. Second set. Not looking great in this first set right now. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oof, gosh, it was set point on 40 love. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was 40 love. I just realized we were on set point was all. Game and that's first it. Set. First set. Down. 6-4. Second set. Unfazed, she's self assured. And that first set was a lot of points, a lot of long rallies. Fatigue may yet become a factor, but our stamina is virtually identical right now. Nice one there. Obviously, we must win set, but uh, we gotta start strong. We cannot afford to trail. We have the serve first. We cannot afford to trail here at any point in this second set. Deuce. Advantage. Come on. No, 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 no. Mother. She broke. We looked so comfortable, and then all of a sudden she was just bam, bam, bam. Three quick points, and we lost the game, and now we're trailing 4 2. I think we're going to lose this match. I think we're going to lose this match. It's not over yet, but like I said, we can't, could not afford to trail. But at f love 40. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She did it again. So we were up love 40. Love 40 in this game. And then bam, 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 bam. In a few seconds, she not only had caught us, but had advantage. We battled back to Deuce, the first point we've won here in the last, what, five? This is must-win territory. Absolute must-win. We cannot go down 5-3. I expect that was long. That was... That was like a foot long. It was a freaking Subway sandwich. <sighs> of course, you know, out of that viewpoint... Juice. It's out of that range. You don't see it. We battled back here. That should have won the game right there. First was out. Was well out. There's no way that ball was landing in. Some invisible hand of God slapped it down before it went out of bounds. And she's won the game. Going out in the, so in the semis, folks. Down 5-3. We're not going to come back and win this thing. It's love 40. It's love 40. It's over. It's done. Game Missed it by an inch. 4 6, three, six. Our Wimbledon run. Our first Grand Slam semi final will not result in a finals appearance. We were not the favorite in the final anyway, even if we had made it there. But disappointed that we are now 0-3 all-time against Brady. Really disappointed in a couple calls. A couple calls that would have made a huge difference uh, at, at various points. But Brady outplayed us. She's got a better... She's got a better forehand than what we have. I think we had very similar backhands. I think we had a very similar play style. I think we had very similar physical ability. She had a better forehand. Brady goes on to win the final. Sviatek was not playing in that final, so there was an upset in the other semi, so we probably would have been the favorite to win. But we were that close. That close to our first Grand Slam victory. Newton continues to show strong promise as we spent a couple training sessions on speed. She gets 25% or more and gets that next level up. But meanwhile, also 
gets other areas to level up as well while everyone else just continues to make little to no gain other than Grant who does show moderate promise now but she's got a long ways to go yet we've quickly gotten Nagunye back to neutral on her morale so that's picking up form is down for a lot of players especially Jovic who's just not even playing uh, and like I said Jovic I think is somebody I'm ready to move on from next up for uni Wimbledon Jr. They keep forcing our hand. They keep putting us in these tournaments, even though we don't want to, don't want to be a part of them anymore. Uh, but we continue to get stuck there. Sixth rank now in the juniors with only what four tournaments all year. Me now 16s in pretty much all the key skills. Uh, the only attack skill, the only special skill that is really become established is her smash at a 13. Uh, lobs closing in at an 11. Definitely need to put a little bit into those. I think that's the difference for her to now winning those tournaments, right? Having the ability to get those winners out of those skill shots. And the skill shots just aren't quite there. So it, it is definitely time to specialize because physically she's got a couple 20s with her uh, bonuses. She's looking at, you know, 19, 20, 20, 18, 20, 20, 15. And the only 15 there is the stamina, which at this point is clearly uh, not a factor. In the men's, playing those extra rounds, it would be something. For here, in the women's, a 15 is nearly flawless. Uh, and, you know, the mental side, a 19, 19, 16, 20 on the controllable ones, and the others being fairly good for, you know, a player who's just turned 18. That's all, that's all excellent. And the 16s pretty much across the board on the base technical ones is good enough now, but it's not great, right? We just saw that the forehand was, was better for our opposition, but play style, that deviation play, works against almost every opponent she goes up against. Not all. Uh, and, and that's going to be the difference between turning her into a winner. And for us, what that means is getting those skill shots, uh, which could level up fairly quickly, you would think. Uh, so a little more for her serve, maybe. Uh, a little more on her net play, a little more on those skill shots. And she could and should be you know, one of the best in the world. That is going to do it for this episode, and like I said, we're going to be uh, a week in between episodes for, for the next month or so uh, while I have a busy schedule. Sorry about that. Thanks for sticking with me on this one. I'm DeKalfLongGamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.